Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 19 here on Planet 26. Well, in the last episode, we were working on our drone, getting it to work, and I, I was running into some problems. Uh, just getting it to, to go there and back, fill up, and whatnot. And so I did spend quite a bit of time trying to figure out what was wrong with it and why it wasn't working. Uh, so a couple of things is I, I had the wrong uh, uh, things identified in the timers. Uh, I actually had pulled in some of the stuff for that ship as opposed to uh, the stuff for the Cobalt drone. Alright, so that's going to come to a screeching halt when it gets to that point. Also, I had an event. Uh, I have two event blocks on this uh, Cobalt drone. And for some reason, the event block wasn't working exactly right. So the drone would go down there and land, and the event block was supposed to not trigger the next action until the ship was full of ore. Well, for whatever reason, as soon as it was getting down there, it was only getting a partial load of ore, and then it was triggering, and then it was coming up, and then it was just stopping. And I went back and forth quite a few times trying to figure out what was going on. I finally turned the event block off and rode down there and it let it sit there for a while uh, figuring I didn't know if it was going to trigger uh, somehow or if it was triggering from somewhere else to cause it to lift off early so I had that event block off and it filled up the capacity and then uh, I hit the next block to start the, the timer and everything worked perfectly which is the way it was supposed to so what I did was increase the amount of delay on the timer that was uh, supposed to happen next after the event block starting timer number three and it filled up and the drone was able to go through the rest of the uh, sequence so if we go up here we're at 98 percent uh, I currently have the block the event block down below uh, turned off so let's just go ahead and write it through the sequence and see what happens uh, I can turn uh, that block downstairs let's go to the control panel uh, if we go to RCO that's our block right there so let's uh, oh it says it's on pretty sure it's not this should have taken off Oh, I bet, I bet, let's, uh, let's go back into that block. I bet one of them is not up to 98%. So if we go here, well, that's timer block. I bet, well, that's why that's didn't look right. Uh, so I got that on like it's supposed to. Let's go to, uh, oh, let's do it like this, event, and this is the one I want. So, yeah, I have it off, threshold, they're both at 100%, so as soon as I toggle this on, we are going to take off. So if we do that, as soon as I set it, of course it's not working. That should have taken off. There we go. Alright, so now it's going to... 
Uh, fly up to waypoint one, and that's where it's going to start timer block number two. And that timer block is turning on the basic AI, which allows it to take off flying. Now it's going to fly to cobalt position one, and now it's flying to cobalt position two. And then from there, it will fly to cobalt position three. Also that timer block turned on the advanced collision and turned off the precision precision flight and then it also turned the uh, timer block one off now the basic AI as soon as it hits uh, cobalt number three it's going to start timer block number two and so once we get to that uh, as it's slowing down. Now one of the reasons we have the basic AI is so that you can get more speed. The flight recorder blocks tend to go much slower because they're flying position wise. So now we've just turned on timer block two which turns off the basic AI number one behavior and it turned on flight recorder two which is now bringing us over to the uh, cargo bay where the cobalt is. Now as we land you're going to hear the uh, resource node pounding away and there we go as we're landed. Now we're going to be here for 20 seconds or so um, as it's filling up the cargo bay and let's see if we can kind of see that. So, our connector's full, everything's full on our uh, drone. Now, it should be lifting off here pretty quick. Like I said, I probably could have uh, done a little less of a delay on there. <coughs> uh, but I wanted to make sure that it would get full. So, there we go. Now it uh, unlocked which is what it was supposed to do. And uh, it should have turned off or turned on the timer block three. As you can see, now we're heading, getting ready to head back. Uh, and we are now on uh, flight recorder three, which unlocked and started timer block four, which uh, is turning on the basic AI which has taken us uh, back the same route that we came in on. So that was Cobalt 3. We're just doing it in reverse. We're heading to Cobalt 2, uh, which uh, will be next. And then right after Cobalt 2, oh, and we also turned collision avoidance on with that last spot, and we turned precision flight off on the move block. That way, uh, we're going to get the speed of uh, up to 70 uh, meters per second. All right. And that's going to be important when we start making those longer flights to, like, the nickel factory, which will be the next drone I set up, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, this was challenging enough. So I just wanted to kind of go through this to show you that it works. And now we're hitting, uh, we should be hitting Cobalt 1 coming into here. See the uh, base down there. Now that's going to trigger uh, our uh, timer block number 5, which then turns the collision avoidance off, it uh, turns the precision flight on, and starts the flight recorder number four uh, so that uh, it will uh, turn the behavior on, tell it to play, and then stop timer block number five. And now we're on flight recorder four, which takes us down. And if we go out here in this view, we can see 
that uh, it is moving into position and landing and there we go proximity and locked beautiful so if we hop off now I have this all set up on a event here at the base so if we go down and we look at the event controller so this is on and we have this this event controller seems to be working like it's supposed to so what I have this set up as and we can see that we're at 87.4 percent so it's going to start the if we look at the select actions it's going to start uh, the timer block which is right next to us here this is the timer block right here so this will start that timer block once we have hit the stored power percentage equal or greater than and I set a threshold of 98 percent you don't want your drones falling out of the sky because they've run out of power so now uh, you can see that it used up uh, probably approximately 83-84% of its power uh, flying there and back. So that's going to be something I need to check when I do on these longer flights to see if I have enough battery power on them. Uh, so uh, what will happen here now is once this reaches this threshold it will start the timer block which over here is set to start uh, the flight recorder task one and then uh, play the uh, scenario or the uh, re flight recorder for that one and then it turns the uh, timer block off or it stops the timer block so that is the scenario and getting it finally fixed I'm gonna let it uh, cycle through and we can watch it take off and then come back and in the meantime while uh, we were doing it while that's happening I've already gone down here and renamed everything on this uh, uh, drone. So I've got this drone all named. If we go in here, we'll look at the control panel. And if we go dr-ni for nickel, you can see I've got that all set up and ready to go as far as the naming conventions. Uh, I've got the antenna named the nickel drone just like I have cobalt drone on the other one uh, the we need we're going to have to increase this up uh, probably so that's 15 kilometers 22 24 25 uh, it, yeah we have to have 50 kilometers on this because that nickel factory is 40 45 kilometers away so or 42 kilometers so I'm hoping that just because it's transmitting that that's not going to create any problems with these now with that being out this way and with those facilities being there my plan is to fly out over that way and then kind of come into the nickel uh, plant uh, from that direction and so we'll set up the coordinates and what I might end up doing today is just at least making that flight to see how much power I have in the batteries uh, if uh, I'm not there yet and I've already reached 50% on the power then I know I have a problem because I, I need to at least have probably 60 to 65% on the power flying out versus because uh, it's going to have a load coming back so it's going to use more power coming back so that's something we'll have to check out 
And while this thing is charging, let's see what it's up to. Uh, 92%, so that shouldn't be too far off. This time we're not going to fly with it. We're just going to watch it. And in the meantime, I'm going to start setting up some rails around here. Uh, let's see where I got those are at. Uh, those need to be yellow. And uh, I think I need... What do I need? I need construction components for them. So let's, uh, let's go grab some construction components. Well, that is uh, getting ready to go. And so let's uh, see if we can't... 30 ought to be enough. So I want to put there, 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 there. Down here, it's a corner. I learned that. Got to put the corner in, otherwise... Uh, you'll have a open spot. Let's go back to the straight rail. There we go, right there. So we want to put there and there. Unable to place. Oh, why am I unable to place there? Uh, I wonder if it's because the drone is sitting there. I, uh, I bet it is. Yeah, the drone's sitting there, there, there. We'll catch that when the drone flies away, because it's not a collision issue. And we may have the same problem down here. Now, see, this one's sitting to wear up, but that side is not. So let's come over here. We can put that in. So we're missing a rail there. Back to our corner. There we go. And back to our straight. There. Oh, I gotta take this. I remember, I gotta take this out. There we go. Since it's the same color underneath, that really doesn't look uh, too uh, too bad. So let's go back to here, and then we should be able to put our rail in. All right. Safety first here at the base. So uh, let's go over here, and let's see if we can see. We should be able to... I don't want to hop in there just in case it is so close to ready to fly. All right, let's take a look. Uh, they're at 95, almost uh, 96, so we're only 2% away. So let me do this while that's doing that. I'm going to grab the materials for the rails, although they look pretty good good actually and uh, oh I'm full all right we should be able to grab enough components now and start building those out Okay, there we go. A completed one adds that second rail down below, which is kind of nice. It looks pretty good. Okay. Got this going. This thing ought to be getting close to taking off. We're going to let it do its thing. So I'm really kind of curious on if these rails, it shouldn't. They shouldn't interfere at all. It should come down uh, because I have 
collision avoidance off, so it really shouldn't affect those. Alright, let's grab more stuff. And we'll get this built out. Okay. Uh, well, no, I don't have these hooked up. And actually, these are set to only pull from... Uh, or to only allow ore to go into the cargo container, so... Uh, there we go. Alright, this thing should be getting close. There it goes. Alright, so it hit 98%. We see the drone going up. And it's moving into position. And we'll watch him fly off there. Actually, we'll just uh, kind of keep an eye out for him. So he's kind of doing his thing. Let me finish welding these up. Actually, what I should do is, uh, well, he is gone. Let's uh, do this. There we go. I'll get out of the way. Let's get these welded up. There we go. All right. Okay. All right, can we see where he's at? He is there at, looks like over at the base. And looks like he's land, uh, getting ready to land. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to do this, because I'd like to get a screenshot of that flying back in. And, Oh, I turned everything off. There we go. Okay, he's uh, set down. And... Waiting the 20 or so seconds. There he goes, he's, he's lifting off. go. He's paused there just for a second. He's starting to work his way back. Okay. All on its own. And I want to be over here. Let's see if I can't catch a screenshot of the drone coming back in. Yep, he's moving. He's heading to number two. He's right there. Uh, and then he's got to... Uh, where is... Uh, there's number three right there. This is exciting when something actually works. I gotta tell you. I can't tell you how much time I spent trying to figure this thing out uh, after I finished the last episode. So, come over here. And. There we 
go. And let's uh, wait for him to... He's adjusting, coming around. I know nothing's going to happen here because this is this has been working from the start this particular area here he comes and let's uh, as he's coming down oh crap I think that'll work. Okay. And he's back. So, I am actually going to turn the event off and just let him sit there. I have managed through all of the testing and, and trying to figure out what was wrong uh, I've got enough cobalt stored away over here. So I'll give you, kind of show you what I've, how much I've got in the bin. So if we come over here, and you can see I've got 188,000 just in uh, raw ore, and if we go cobalt if we go coal all right it should all right we'll get down here here's in the refinery we've got another 10,000 in there uh, we've got another 4,000 here. And then if we go to this large cargo container, we've got another 5,000 there out of the refinery. So I've got more than enough cobalt on hand now uh, as we move forward. And I'm sure the assembler probably... No, uh, it doesn't have anything in the assembler. Uh... Uh, I don't see anything in the assembler. Anyway, we're going to have a boatload of uh, ore. So the other thing I'm going to do, since once I get all these drones in production, I'm going to need to put another refinery, and that's going to be pretty easy. I should just be able to uh, take this out, take this out, and just move those over, and then put a second refinery right here. They only uh, take up uh, two blocks, so uh, and I'll be able just to connect another industrial refinery right here and put that right there, and that should help process those ores. And also, I'll be able to put all of their upgrades when I get to that point. So. Uh, let's uh, go up and get those rails finished. And let's see here. Uh, I can't remember. Did I, uh, I know that, uh, and, oh, the nice thing is that these rails didn't have any effect on this here. So it was just a matter of, all right, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I just need to go grab the parts. So let's go grab the parts. We'll try to get these rails done around here. And probably, I've been talking this whole episode. So... It may not seem like we got all that much done, but I thought it was important to show you all uh, how uh, the drones work and the fact that uh, I actually did get it to work. So let's uh, 
get these rails done. All right, so let's uh, grab that. Grab that. And are we? Oh, of course, one left. All right, let's get these. And let's finish building these rails out. I'll have that one missing uh, that is sitting in front of this, which once I move this, I'll be able to put, uh, uh, put that rail in. Okay. Now the other thing, I got to put lighting up around here and I got some ideas on how I'm going to do that. And I think we... Let's go grab that real quick and we'll have that done. I should put rails up along here so I can't walk in front of these welders. The fact that they're off is probably a good thing, obviously. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to conclude today's uh, episode. Uh, pretty excited the fact that uh, the drones are working and that I figured out uh, what, what the problem was. Now, they were working just fine and creative. And so, but it probably has to do with the fact that the, uh, in creative, the bins were completely full, and so that was pushing everything up immediately into the drone, and so it wasn't having that, didn't need that delay in there, uh, as to where this one, uh, here in survival, it did need that delay, uh, on that one timer block. All right, well, uh, if you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe, that really helps the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.